Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are back of Isla Vila, or whatever the heck you, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, the Czech Republic. That's easier. <laughs> anyway, guys, we are here to do one more, catch one more type of fish that we have yet to catch, at least in front of you guys, and that is the tench. Now, the tench are a little bit different than the others. They do prefer a lot like things like cheese and night crawlers, red worms, white worms, but they also tend to be out more in the cloudy days and at night. So it's a little bit of a bad time to try, but we might get lucky if we go out deep because that tends to be where they go during the daytime. But I think to increase my odds here, we're going to go ahead and get a bigger size hook not a bigger size smaller size hook. I'm gonna get a number six here and I'm gonna put it on both of these because that's what we're gonna focus on now this one already has cheese on it so we're gonna try the cheese and then we're also going to try night crawlers if I have them I thought I had them yes I do okay and if that doesn't work, we'll go with the uh, maggots or the wax worms. Now I've seen them go for corn too, but there's so much carp out there that I have a feeling that we're not going to have a whole lot of luck that with that regard. But let's go ahead and get our rod pod set down here. Yes, this is a spot I had used the last time I was here. It's a great spot. And I've got a marker out there so I know exactly where to throw it. It needs to be deep. And I believe out there it's around 10 feet. Well, it didn't say. But it's deep. It's in the deep area. So let's go ahead and put that down. We'll get out our other rod. with our cheese. I think I'm going to put that one just a little bit. We're already getting some activity out there, so that's cool. Come on, you can do it. Looks like we got him. What do we got here, guys? Oh, we got a European perch, and there's a good chance you'll get them. You'd think they'd be worth more. They're a good little fish to eat, I tell you. Man, they are ni nice, nice, nice. Catch a bunch of those, and you got some eating there, guys. Okay, put that down. But yeah, we we have caught everything else here that we can see a representation of the species just in the past two episodes. The only one we haven't gotten is, of course, the tench. But I will tell you honestly, I do catch them better at night. That's the only thing. So I hate to have to fast forward to nighttime, but we may end up having to do that. But we'll give it a little bit of a try in the daytime, see if they do anything. If it was cloudy, we'd be better off, but, eh, well, we'll, we'll just keep at it. I think I might go ahead while this thing is sitting here quiet and pull out my third rod. See if there's, well, maybe not. Which one is it, guys? Boy, well, it is so light that I can't even tell. Might have to increase the sensitivity on the tip of the rod. They're, these are just not showing very well. 
And he may have quit anyway. Well, we got to have something better than that. But anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of pike fishing over here if I can get one. Kind of nice. And probably most assuredly increase my chances of getting something to bite on the other one. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Actually, that kind of reminds me. Somebody had said something about the capabilities of catching fish here float fishing. Actually, it's pretty good. But you've got to know what you're doing here. Uh, you've got to know where to fish and how to fish for them. And the thing is, most of these fish are deep. That is just the nature of this lake. I am going to see something about these. Something tells me there is something on here. But I'm going to... Yep. <laughs> little pain in the butt was on there. I had this weird feeling that there was a fish on there. A little Prussian carp. A little bugger. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to see if I can increase the sensitivity. Now, to do that, you just basically go down here and select one of these options. If it's quiver tip one ounce, I believe it's a little more sensitive. So, the problem is with that, I think it also gives you problems if you get a big fish. So, but hopefully, it'll just make it easier for this to see whether something's biting. We'll put that one there. I'm going to check this one too. There might have been something on this because it sure did go all the way over here. It's not like there's a current. Okay, we're going to put this one right here. And we are getting a bite off of that. And we got him. I think we got us another Prussian carp. Nope, common roach. there I am going to reel this in because I think not a hundred percent certain but I think maybe the hook on there is a little too big let's see what we got on here we got No? No, that's right. Yeah, we'll just give it another shot here. Hold on. Now well, there is some other baits we can try too, since cheese is not seeming to be their popular item today. I think I might try the crawfish cut, because somebody had told me in one of my one of my viewers said that they go for that too. I figure that's worth a try. I have not tried the crawfish cut. So, it'd be interesting to see 10.1. So that's perfect. It's exactly where I want it to be. And let me see here. I can get this rod out. Whoa. Hmm. 
Who's biting? I think it's this one. Well, he tapped it, but he didn't do much more than that. Let's see. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and take this as deep as we can go. And I'm going to put I'll put blood worms on it because that's another popular bait for tench. And we're going to get that hook downsized a bit. See, even though we don't, you don't have to throw it right at there. You just that just gives you an idea about where the deep area is. So you're not floundering around. And of course, after I get that cast, something goes for it. Both ends. Hold on. <laughs> I got a bite here, and I got a bite there. <laughs> As you can see, the float fishing does work. And there's our tench. $39. Yeah, the luck first one I caught was a minnow, basically, but that's what they look like. Ah. Damn it. Ah, I lost him. And it was off the crawfish cut, guys. He's still there. Wish he'd make it, but his daggone mind. Come here. There we go. That's a little bit heftier. Much better, guys. That's what we're after. Took a good look at him in this. Well, there's not really great sunlight, but at least you can see just how yellow they are. Quit flippity flopping, you little turd. <laughs> there. Good old fashioned chinch. Let's see if we can get a few more here. The crawfish cut has just proven itself. Looks like we're getting another bite off the float rod. There's a lot of fish species that will go for these bloodworms, guys. I mean, roaches, and I think that's what this is. But roaches and crucian carps, all of them do. They love them. I don't know, but it looks like that one line on the left is moving. I mean, maybe I'm crazy. But it definitely looks like it's moving. There we go, another bite. Will it be Tench? Will it be something else? Well, it is definitely something, but it's not huge. It's a European perch. Let's keep him. Alright, I'm going to go over here and check this one rod because it has been... 
I mean, I might be wrong, but I could swear it was moving. Yep. I'm never wrong. Did you notice it didn't ding or nothing? <laughs> there is a fish on it. Silver bream. Yeah, I think what we're going to do here, guys, we're going to go ahead and advance time because I want to see just how well we do at night with these guys. So let's go ahead and make it happen. Ooh, spooky. Okay. <laughs> let's put our rod pod down. Now let's see if there's any difference in how they bite. Ten point one feet. Whoop, I hit the wrong button. Is that a bite already? Seriously? Yep. I'll be damned. <laughs> I just got it in the water, guys. There we go. See what I mean about the, them biting more at night? And they do go for that crawfish cut. They are not messing around. Oh, great. Sounds like we got a fire <laughs> somewhere. It's never good. Which one? I think it's this one. Alright, we got him. And it is a tench. No, it didn't. It's Prussian carp. I thought I saw yellow. <laughs> but I'll take him. I will definitely take him. I was sure it was a tench. Prussian carp bite at night, too. But I thought it looked like he was yellow. As soon as I can get an opportunity, I'm definitely getting a uh, larger rod pod. <laughs> that way I can float fish, bottom fish. Not sure how many of them you can have out at the same time, but I haven't played it that long. The new mechanics and bottom rods. You know, just out of curiosity, I might try the cheese again. They should go for cheese. It doesn't say it in their preferred baits. But we're going to give it a try anyway here. Whoa, okay. It looks like I've got one on that. Hold on, I'm going to have to exchange this. Did you see him take off with that? <laughs> he was determined to get it, a little common roach. Might also give the red worms a try. That's another one of them. I wonder if they would go for this. Drunken worm. 
I don't know. Also, I have not tried the caster magnets. I might try them for just a second see what they gotta do. Just out of curiosity. On Russian Fishing 4, they go for the cheese and corn, so they should go for them here, but that doesn't mean they will. Sounds to me like they pretty much are opportunistic. They'll go for whatever they can get. Yeah, I thought I'd switch over to Red Worms, see what might bite off of those. As soon as I threw it out there, I got me a bite. Kind of a good sign. <laughs> it's always a good sign when you throw it out there and you get instantly get a bite. There we go. I'm pretty sure it's going to be something small. Tench will go for the red worms too, but so do a lot of other things like the Prussian Carp. Nothing has been biting off this cheese, so I am going to switch it back to Nightcrawlers. Apparently they do not go for cheese here. I'm not so sure if something has been dragging it around. It's way over here for some reason. All right, let's go ahead and put something else on here. Let's go with the night crawlers. We had pretty good success with those. Good depth, good depth. Get our float fishing rod back out and we'll see. Let's try down a little further, see if there's anything just down the pike, so to speak. Maybe there's pike. Just down the pike. Yeah, I know it's a bad joke. I'm gonna put some crawfish cut on here. See how they do float fishing. At least I know that we're not going to get a whole bunch of bream or crucian carp or if it's going to go for it, it's most likely going to be the tench. And of course we're getting a bite. So what we'll do is we'll slide over here and do a replace. That's a decent Prussian carp. I know you can, I think they have trophy ones in here. I'm not 100% certain, but I think so. Seems like the Prussian carp are really biting today. Ugh. You guys are killing me. <laughs> ah, now this has got some oomph to it. Let's see what we got here, guys. There we go. Very nice. New personal record. Trophy Common Roach. All right. I'll take him. 
game turned around here. Get a decent picture of him. Not too bad, guys. We didn't do too bad. We got some tench. Got a trophy common roach. I think the only other trophies left is probably the Prussian. I've gotten pretty much all the trophies you can get out of here. Most of them are young, though. That's the thing. But I think in the next episode, guys, we're going to see if we can move on to another lake. Because we have really kind of done what we can do here at the moment that I can show you. I've already seen some float fishing. You've seen some casting. Looks like I've got a bite off of this one now. And it's a decent bite. This may be a really cool way to end out this episode. That's a decent sized fish, whatever it is. And it is a tench. Oh, nice! Now that, my friends, is a tench. Let me turn that light off. I can't. That is a nice tench, though. I, that may not, you know, they don't have trophies, but he's pretty. That is a great way to end up an episode here. I'm trying to get a decent picture here. All right. $79. Not bad. 1.342 pounds. That's a great tench, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And I'm not sure where we're going to go this next time, but I will definitely say it's going to be another like. So until then, guys, always remember aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.